Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for joining me. I thought I would do a quick little tutorial on making a folio and a pocket using some 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and a few other supplies. So to start with, I've got a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper and I'm working on a journal that is tall and skinny. So I wanted some elements that I could put inside. They needed to be under four and a quarter inches wide in order to fit. So here's what I thought. I would take a piece of scrapbook paper and make a couple of elements. I'm going to first cut it. Depending on if it has a pattern that you want to use, I want this to be visible. So what I'm going to do is cut off a four inch strip on this side, making this essentially two pieces. One will be eight by 12 and one will be four by 12. Next, I'm gonna take this piece and fold it in half. So now it essentially is a eight inch by six inch piece. I'm looking at it. This is gonna be my inside, that's going to be the outside. I want to score this at two and a quarter inches. So I've got a scoring tool and I'm going to score at two and a quarter inches. I'm going to flip it around and do two and a quarter inches on the other side. Now I'm going to do is open this up and apply some glue so I can glue it together. I'm just using a lean stacky glue. Any white glue that you like will work. Fold this over. I'll use my bone folder to help smooth out that glue. And I scored this on the inside, so I'm feeling where my score mark is. And I'm going to fold this in, and I'll do it on the other side as well. So now I have this little folio piece. You see how that comes together? Now, if you have a white area like I do on mine, it's probably because, number one, I waited or didn't wait long enough after gluing to fold it. And I probably didn't get it cut straight. So I'm going to use some Distress Inks and cover that up. I've got Distress Ink Walnut Stain. I'm just going to come in here with the foam blending tool. How is everybody? I hope you're well. hope you're having a great day. I want to thank you for stopping in and watching my video. This is a Monday that I normally have a live video, but I'm taking a little bit of a break for a couple of weeks so that I can regroup and work on some other projects around my home. So I've recorded a video for y'all to enjoy. All right, so I've got that piece pretty much distress inks. What I need to do now is I want to make a pocket that'll go here to hold some items inside. I've got a, and I'm also going to grab a book page. First thing I'm going to do is looking at this piece. It is three and a half inches wide. So my tickets are four inches. So I'm going to cut off, because I want it to be even in the middle, a quarter of an inch on each side so that this ends up being three and a half inches wide. And then what I want to do next is, I'm going to add some distress inks where I cut it off. I want to glue it down to this book page so that I can make little tabs and use those to glue it down to the inside. So I'm going to glue this down just a little bit away from the edge. So it gives me a little bit of a border here and a little bit of border here. And then what I'll do is cut off the excess. Hey, if you're here watching me live, definitely speak up in the chat. If you're watching this as a replay, definitely speak up in the comment box down below. And let me know, how'd you find me today? Where did you learn about my video so that you came here? And then let me know what you thought was the best part of the video today. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold over this part of the book page and glue it into place. Let that dry. And while that is drying, I'm grabbing a scrap of paper here and I've got the picked raspberry distress oxide because I want to change the color of these tickets. You know, a lot of people ask me, well, how do you use these tickets? Well, that's why I wanted to give you a tutorial today. So I'm just going to come in here and use my blending tool 
and apply a little bit of color to this ticket. Now, if your tickets are already the color that you want, then you can leave them the way they are. I want to sew on mine. So what I'm going to do is two things. I want to sew all the way around the outside perimeter of this piece. And then I want to sew around this piece. So I'm going to go over to my sewing machine. I have a standard sewing machine and I use it in my crafts as well as if I wanted to sew on some fabric. You don't have to switch anything up. It will all work. The key thing is to make sure that if you're sewing on something that has been glued that you give it an opportunity for the glue to dry. I have it set up as a zigzag stitch and I've got black thread in my upper and my lower. So decide where you want to start sewing and I think I'll just sew across the bottom and then go all the way around. When I get to the end and I want to go across the other way, I will leave the needle down and raise my presser foot and then swing it around and then put the presser foot down and sew again. So that piece has been sewn all the way around. Now I'm going to sew around the tickets. And I'm only sewing to the edge where the ticket is. I'm not going past that. All right, so that's been sewn all the way around. I'll trim the corners like so, and then I will fold these in. So now my pocket, I'll be able to use the full width of it and depth of it to put my journal cards in. All right, I'm going to look at my little folio and determine which way I want to be the top or the bottom, and I think... I don't know if I want it that way. I think I want it this way. So I'm going to take this piece and glue it down in between the folds here. So this piece will go right here. I'm just making sure that I can still close up the flaps and I can. All right, let's grab something to decorate the inside here. I've got some calico collage images. What I did was I spent a little bit of time and I printed off a bunch of her flower and small ephemera pieces in different sizes on my computer. And that way I had them to choose from. And then I fussy cut a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to grab a couple. I kind of like the way that looks. Okay, we'll put that there. All right, so let's make sure that's got some distress inks around the edges. And I'll glue that into place. And then I want to put a sentiment on here. And what I do is I'll get strips of paper that are left over when I'm cutting things out. And I will stamp upon them. Let's see what I've got here. That How about be extraordinary? We'll put that right here across the bottom. Like so. So then I want to add something to this that I thought would be kind of fun. I have these little cards that I, I think I picked these up a long time ago. They're just little note cards that had this 3D layered peacock on here. And I thought it would look really cute if it was across the front as part of the embellishment. And then when you open this up, you have the inside and you have this area to journal upon. So I'm going to grab my Fabri-Tac glue since this is kind of a slick printed paper and we're going to add some glue right here on this edge. So this is a great way if you've got some note cards that someone sent you and you want to reuse them you could place a piece of paper over the writing inside and you still have the beautiful decoration on the outside. Now I'm going to put this down and when I open it, because this card was folded kind of weird, I don't want it to bind up. So I'm going to slide it over just a little bit. So it may be sticking out just a little past the edge here. So now I have this piece on the front and then that opens up to the inside. I am going to use my bone folder real fast here and kind of get that smoothed out just a little bit. All right, 
now I want to add another little sentiment. So let's get my little words out again. See if I can find one that I want to use. How about be the light? That looks good. Let's put that on there. So I'm going to place that right here. I like that. And let's put something inside our pocket. I went ahead prior to starting this video and prepped a few things so they were ready. Well, this is just a piece of cardstock, scrapbook paper that I had that I thought would look good if it was just poked down in here. And then I took a piece of coffee dyed cardstock and cut it into a tag shape that would fit inside. But I think I wanna go ahead and add to the top here. So I've got my ID slot punch. I'm just going to punch a hole at the top. And I've got some little pieces of fabric laying here. So what fabric do I want to use today? I'll use this blue. So I've got a little piece of blue here. So I'm just going to poke that through the hole and cut it. And I'm going to go to sewing machine and just stitch right across the top here. So I'm just going to stitch right across the very top. And this will go right in here. And this is just one of those tear off notepads that I thought would be pretty to stick in there. And then we'll close this over. And somewhere I have some ribbon laying here. Got a little piece of ribbon. And we'll take this. I may just go ahead and use all of it. I don't know, we'll see. I think that'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess. So now I have this little piece. It can go inside a pocket or you can glue it down onto the journal page if you so choose. I'm gonna set this aside and let's look at this piece. I thought, well, if I'm going to cut up a piece of scrapbook paper, I wanna go ahead and make something out of all of the pieces. So this four inch by 12 inch piece, I've made these before. I thought it would be kind of a cute little envelope that we could put onto our page and it would also be a pocket. Just adding a little bit of distress ink on there. So what I'm gonna do is down on one end, I'm going to fold over about half an inch, quarter of an inch, depends on how well you measure. Add a little bit of glue to help hold that into place. And I kind of want this to have a little over the top flap. I did make a journal card earlier, so I think what I probably should do is use that as a guide. So I want it to stick out the top here. And I don't want this to come down too far, but I want it far enough that it covers it. And I also want to make sure I leave a little space here because I want to put a sentiment there. So real simple, just three little folds. Just guesstimate. You don't have to be exact. Just make it work for you. In this case, it was three and a quarter, and this other fold is about five inches from the bottom. Now what I want to do is go to the sewing machine, and I want to stitch right across here. Then I'll push this close and stitch all the way around. I have to make sure to start here because I want it sewn before I sew the rest of it together. So now that I've got that one sewn, I'm just gonna fold it closed, start here and go all the way around. So now we have basically a little envelope. Let's do some more embellishment. Across here, I want to add a sentiment. I've got these tickets that came from Canvas Court Brands and I have included them in several of my subscription boxes. So if you have one of those, you have this. If you don't have this ticket, basically it's a piece of paper that's three and a half inches by approximately one and a half inches. I've got magical defined and I'm stamping it using archival blacky jet black. And remember when you're stamping, you want to press firmly. Don't rock your stamp. Let it set on the paper for a moment so that the ink can transfer. Now I'm gonna add some distress inks to the edges. 
and I want to glue this across the bottom. I want to make sure that I've got it low enough. I'm going to glue it as a pocket. So I'm just going to put a small bead of glue down the side and across the bottom and then back up the other side and then push that into place. I have this journal card that's going to go inside. I'm going to get my ID punch again and punch across the top and let's grab a different piece of fabric. So I've got this one here. Let's see if I can find the end. I don't want it to stick up too far because it kind of will cause too much bulk. So I'm going to make some adjustments here. I think right about there. I think that worked out pretty good. And I'll cut that piece. I'm going to set this over here to sew because we're going to do it in a moment. And I thought I would do several at the same time. I've got another piece of coffee dye paper that I cut to fit inside the pocket. So it's three inches by inch and a half. And my thought was it would look really cute kind of peeking out here. But I want a piece of fabric across the top. I've got a different piece. So I'm going to grab a piece and right about the center, I'll put down a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to ruffle the fabric by sticking it in the glue and then just kind of pushing it together. So it gives us this little ruffle at the top, pressing it with my fingers and I will cut off the excess. And while I'm waiting on that glue to dry, I'm going to grab another piece of papers that I have here. These were mop-up papers that I made. So whenever I spray through the stencil and then I mop up with the other side, I end up with these papers. Well, I had a couple left over and I was trying to figure out how to use them. And I thought, well, this would be a great little tag or tag booklet. So I stack them all together and I'm going to use my ID punch again. And let's grab a different piece of fabric because, you know, we want variety, right? And I'll poke that through the top here and cut off the excess. Set that aside. All right, so I'm going to go to the sewing machine now and stitch on all these pieces. So since this one's in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and go with it first. I'll just stitch right across the top where the fabric is. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can sew it by hand. You could also use a stapler and staple it into place, or you could make the fabric longer and tie it into a knot. I just love how this little one turns out. I think it's really super cute. Oh, I forgot one more thing I wanted to make just so I could have it. I want to make a altered paper clip. So I'm grabbing a different piece of fabric here and we'll poke it through the top and I'll cut off the excess and I'm just going to quickly sew across the top but not where the paper clip is. I'm at the closed end of the paper clip. So now I've got this piece. All right, so let's do some stamping really fast. So I've got the word dream from my dream quartet. So I'm going to put that right here in the corner. And then I have the tiny cosmos. It's just a little bitty flower and I just like having it so I can add a little embellishment to things. I'll stamp that there and I'll stamp it again here and here. I've got some watercolor pencils here. So I've got a pink. I'll come in here and color the flower a little bit. I like watercolor pencils because I feel like I can make them look better than if I had a marker. For some reason, me and markers, I have a tendency to either press too hard or something, and the watercolor pencil seems to work the best for me. I'm using a water brush to come in and activate the color and spread it around. And I will clean my brush off with a rag. Then I'm going to grab the yellow for the center. 
then I'll get the green and just come around the edges where the greenery is. Put my pencils away. Oh, I forgot the green on here. All right, so I've got those. And next is just putting it all together. So this would go in our pocket in the back here. This will go into this little pocket. This flips over and the altar paper clip is to help keep it closed. Now we can glue this down into our journal. If you feel like you need more space, you could add little strips of paper to give it more space. You could also make this just a floating pocket that just goes anywhere in your journal. You could even paper clip it to the page. But I wanted to make it a pocket so that I could put my tall skinny tag and then I just cut another piece of some cardstock that I thought would look really cute. So let's go back and look at the two pieces. I'm trying to clear off my desk a little bit. So we got a couple of little and handmade embellishments that you can add to your journal. And this opens up again and we have the card and then this opens out and we have these pieces inside. And then for the pocket, it opens up and you can take the tag out as well as this tag. And then I had a different set that I made with a different color of scrapbook paper, but the same concept. It was just a different color of scrapbook paper. If you don't have scrapbook paper, make your own papers. You can glue several papers together in order to get the size that I used today, which was an eight by 12 folded in half to make it six inches tall by eight inches wide and then the little envelope piece here was four inches by 12 inches so you know have fun don't feel that you have to have exactly what i'm working with to make little embellishments well i know that this is a short video i wanted to get something out i hope you enjoyed this i have been working on a fairy journal and once i get that done i will have it posted probably for next week i hope you enjoyed this please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends if you haven't subscribed please subscribe do check out my other videos and do feel free to ask questions if there is a tutorial you're looking for, I probably have made it and I can give you a link direct to it. So just ask me a question in the comments down below. All right, everybody, have an amazing day. Do something fun. Do something kind for someone else and spread a little kindness in this world. I feel like if we do something kind every day to someone else, that maybe, just maybe, we can make a big difference in this world and see the kindness flourish. All right, everybody, y'all have an amazing week. I'll see you next time. Bye!